What are you doing? Well, cuddling but trying to get the sleeping bag down. <laughs> Be super gentle with him, okay? Can you let him be the other way? How is he anyway? Hi, Oh my goodness. <laughs> Fluffy, what is going on, buddy? I'm having really much fun with the free. It looks like he might want to go. No, I want to stay. <laughs> Can you leave him? Yeah, just be super gentle with him, okay? I think you have to hang out with you. I know, I'm gonna go, um... This is how I wake Capri up in the morning. This is what I use. To wake her up. She snuck into bed with us last night. <laughs> hey, Lefty, you're supposed to wake her up and get her out of bed, not go to bed with her. Supposed to wake her up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to see if I can do that. We are now taking Lefty to and from school. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh. Lefty is incorporated into everything. I don't know if I can have him in the car to pick you up from school though because I'm picking up Ashlyn from the airport. So Ashlyn will be in here? Yeah, Ashlyn will be here. <laughs> <laughs> so there's been some interesting developments with Lefty. Um, first of all, there were a lot of boundaries that I had to make with Capri. Just normal kids things where they think that they're doing a really good thing for the bird and it's not the best thing. Capri uh, has always been really into arts and crafts and she loves playing with pipe cleaners. For those of you that don't know what those are, it's basically like a wire with fuzzy stuff on it and you can bend them and make things out of them. Capri decided that she wanted to make Lefty some toys and so she took his normal tea stand and made some pipe cleaner toys. Now pipe cleaners are not <laughs> meant to be bird toys. So you can see this is something she did for him. She used beads, it's really cute. Um, but I had to go through the whole explanation of why this is not okay. At the same time, she also made Lefty a bracelet of a pipe cleaner and was gonna cut it to fit to size on his little leg. So, um, so there were quite a few things that I had to go over with her, being a six-year-old girl who likes jewelry and wants to make jewelry for Lefty. Um, we had to go over the safety of that kind of stuff. Now, she has been so into hanging out with Lefty that I think at some points it gets a little overbearing for him. Um, there was one thing that she was doing where she was hanging out with him a lot and what she found is if she played with him while he was on his back, he didn't poop. <laughs> So she was often having him on, on his back and so I had to make a boundary about that as well because I would never want him to be on his back for so long that, anyways, it makes sense to us as adults but as for a kid, just thinking like, oh, I'm not gonna make a mess, I'm not gonna have to clean any poop up, I'll just keep him on his back, he doesn't poop that way, that had to be explained. So Lefty, I was finding, was more interested in coming to me than usual. Normally he's so content being with Capri. 
Um, and and I was wondering why he wanted to spend more time with me. And I think it was because he just got to chill out. Nothing was expected of him. Uh, I didn't overly cuddle or overly hang out with him by any means. And so I started talking to Capri about this sort of um, balance <laughs> there is to hanging out with a bird and not overdoing it. Um, because Lefty really got to the point where he wanted to be around me and I was able to easily socialize him with Dave as well, which we have a cute video of the two of them doing um, a promo for our tiny trick training course that I will include in this video for you guys to see because it's really cute. Hey everybody, this is Dave Womack from Bird Tricks and today we're going to be talking about our tiny trick training course. Now this is designed for all sorts of small species like Quakers, budgies, cockatiels, and the like. What's unique about this course is that you get to see me take a wild, untrained, untamed budgie and within a little bit of time get them trick trained into a show. And you actually get to learn that entire routine with your small bird. This course is meant to take place after you've already gone through our beginner level course. Trick training is extremely important for birds of all species. It gives you a way to communicate with your parrot clearly. It increases the likelihood for good behavior and gives them something mentally engaging to focus on as well as a way to increase your bond. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> the routine you're about to learn was an absolute showstopper for us. At the end of six weeks of training, our little budgie ran across the stage, climbed a rope, went across a, a table, up a ladder, spun in circles on a stand, jumped through a hoop, leaned in and gave me a kiss, and the crowd went wild. It's an absolute fun routine to perform and a great way to bond with your bird. So, enjoy. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Trick training can be very beneficial for your bird because it increases the likelihood for positive behaviors. It sets a foundation and explanations and understanding of how to communicate with your bird, unlike I'm doing successfully here. <laughs> Is that alright? Mm-hmm. That was great. <clears throat> Minus you. But it was making it easier to socialize Lefty, which was great because he wasn't as one person on Capri, but I also didn't want it to take their relationship backwards either because Capri started getting her feelings hurt when Lefty would prefer to come to me over her. Here's what kind of happens with birds like Lefty who are very, very tolerant. Um, they put up with a lot. They'll let you handle them certain ways. You guys have seen Capri try to work through teaching somebody how to properly have him step up. She gets annoyed and she just like picks Lefty up with, with her whole hand and like puts him on places. There's times that you can do that with him where he's so tolerant that he'll allow that and you can get away with a lot more with him. However, it's a really dangerous place to be because one day you'll just notice that you've overdone it and he'll become really, really aggressive. Um, so it's those super nice birds that you push and push and push and you stop giving them the option because you know that you can get away with it that that becomes detrimental to the bird and to your relationship with the bird. So those of you with really tolerant, nice birds, in order to keep them that way, you have to give them the same respect that you would an aggressive or a scared bird. Um, always give them that option because otherwise you are gonna just notice one day they're gonna refuse everything, they're gonna nail you really hard and you're gonna be like, whoa, what the heck happened? And you might blame it on something like hormones or something that you think is instant versus has built up over time over you just disrespecting the boundaries that were there because the bird is so tolerant. Um, this is a lesson that I've had to really get through to Capri. So the other cool thing is Lefty is awesome with road trips. He's awesome with change. He's awesome with people. So we've been able to incorporate him a lot more into our daily lives than we have with Touche, who needs to go at a slower pace in general. Um, but this has been really cool because I feel like it's preparing Lefty for a home similar to ours, where maybe they take a road trip and be able to take him with them. Maybe um, if, if it's a fi family dynamic, that could be really cool because he's gonna like everybody in the family versus just the kid or just the mom or just the dad. Um, so I think it's setting him up for success. I just want this video to kind of serve as a reminder for all the nice birds out there. In order to keep them nice, always respect their boundaries and teach, um, treat them like a scared or, or aggressive bird so that you're always respecting those boundaries. You're pushing beyond. Right? Because we want you to stay nice. Now the socializing with Lefty has gone really well. We've just had to reel in some of the jealousy with Capri because I think in the beginning when she was socializing Lefty with her cousin and her grandma and Lefty was doing so great, part of her was really proud of Lefty and the other part 
got a little jealous and didn't want him to be great with everyone because I think it made her relationship with him feel less special. And I know she wants to feel like the chosen one with you. And so that was something that we really had to work on and work through and something that I had to explain to her where those things are better for Lefty in the long run. That means that he's gonna have a happy, healthy home and healthy relationships with all the people in his future home and it's setting him up for success and how much fun is she gonna have with the next Project Bird and things like that. So it was really, really cool. Do you wanna come down? No? Wanna be pet? So on our latest road trip, Lefty got to meet our photographer, Daniel, and they hit it off really well. Daniel has so many pictures with Lefty. He took a lot of selfies. There were times I came in and Daniel was editing on his computer with one hand. He'd have one hand like at his chest with Lefty all cuddled, nestled into it, and he's petting him, and then he would be typing, and then he'd be petting him, and he just absolutely adored Lefty to the point where I was like, hey, birds need 12 hours of sleep put him to bed. <laughs> so um, it was really, really cute. Now Daniel has photographed a ton of our birds before on flight trips and things. You guys have seen his photography everywhere, I'm sure. Um, he's one of my favorite photographers that comes out and joins us on flight trips, but he is not a bird owner. He has never had birds before. And so there were just some, some boundaries and some things. I was like, okay, Daniel, back away from Lefty. We need to give him some time off. Um, but it was cool because Lefty got to hang out while he was doing lots of editing. So it was really chill, chill time. And he fell asleep numerous times on Daniel because Daniel was keeping him up past his bedtime. But the cool thing is, is that Lefty's been able to meet a lot of people and socialize with a lot of people. And everything has been going really, really well. I don't notice him favoring male versus female, old versus young. There doesn't seem to be any sort of preference there. He's fairly open which makes me happy because our family dynamic, obviously male, female, and child, he's getting used to old versus young, <laughs> tall versus small, everything, and he doesn't seem to be um, nitpicky about any type of person, which has been fantastic. So really happy and hopeful, and I'm feeling confident that he has everything that he needs to be accepted into a variety of different dynamics of homes. So we got to travel to a level one location. It's one of our favorites out in the dry lake bed of Jean in Las Vegas, Nevada. And because there was no wind and it was a level one, we did allow Capri to take Lefty out and hang out with him. She had a picnic with him. She had her own little photo shoot and, and everything with him. And so I'm gonna share some of those photos. Capri got to feel a lot more included by having her own bird there by having Lefty. So I wanted to share some of the photos from that trip so you guys could enjoy them. Of course, they are taken by Daniel. Mm -hmm. 